guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Ashley Flores, if I'm an unfamiliar face to you. Uh, thank you so much for watching this YouTube video. We are gonna be talking about lip injections, and then we're also gonna be talking about how to achieve a fuller, more filled lip without getting lip injections. So the first part, we are going to go ahead and cover the lip injection part. So before, during, and after. So before, uh, this is all again, personal preference. Um, everybody does things different ways. Some people successful, some people not successful. This is what I found what works for me. Um, so for starters, about three to four days before I stop all caffeine. The caffeine is going to go ahead and cause, and also um, Advil's and pain relievers because it's going to cause thinning in your blood. It's also going to cause elevated bruising, which is what people always fear. They're always like, oh, I don't want to look like I just got beat up or X, Y, Z. So stop those two, I would say four days before just to play it extra safe. But if three days, if you're caffeine addict <laughs> like myself, um, another thing to go ahead and start doing about three days before is start taking some Arnica. Now, a good way to save money is do not purchase the whole package from a lip injection company where they offer Arnica. Um, they're gonna charge you like 40, 50 extra bucks just to give you a carton of Arnica that you couldn't have even taken before, you could only take after. This will help already start your inflammation, your bruising, your swelling, everything beforehand. And then you also will have enough to do it after. I got this one from Amazon. It's called Arnica Montana. 30x it's from highlands um you, t you just put four they're really small underneath your tongue about three to four times a day they're super little small um no taste at all it's just a chalky feeling i love doing this and then uh, about two days before stop fish oil vitamin e um again because that's gonna cause bruising and swelling that's again what we're avoiding we do not want that no thank you um now for during nothing uh i would recommend maybe just clearing makeup from that area but they should clean that off for you now the place i go to they numb you from the inside of your mouth so they actually do a shot of novocaine i believe it is um something like that i'll double check when we actually go um and they numb my complete mouth just like if you're about to get a cavity fixed or something like that other places they do numbing cream on top of your mouth so there's two different options i prefer the needle way just because with numbing cream you tend to sometimes your lips swell just naturally with numbing cream and i don't want anything to be disproportional um unproportional disproportional facts I don't know um, <laughs> now uh, once they do that you're gonna go ahead and pick which which kind of injection formula you want so for me personally I love everything Juvederm Reslin is too water-based for me but it's a great start for somebody who just wants to achieve a very minimal natural water look for me I haven't got my lips filled in over a year now and I still have a great amount there before this my lips are like this hey guys so I'm gonna go ahead and start answering some of the Q&A question stripe everything whatever and I'm like dude just let me live so if you watch some old YouTube videos you'll see it with Juvederm because of how active I am how fast my metabolism is it is really great it's a great bang for my buck and it achieves the full plump look for so much longer um, now there's all sorts of different forms of Juvederm I recommend Juvederm Ultra Plus um, again it all depends you could always start with how a syringe if you're scared of it being a little bit too full or full syringe I like doing touch-ups with about 0.5 or 0.75 of the full syringe because that's just what I notice is like the best and what I can handle the best but again it's all pers personal preference this is the part where you should really just confine in the assistant who's going to be helping you the nurse who's going to be helping you and ask them and tell them go bring them what kind of looks you want and tell them what kind of shape you want if you want them to follow your natural lip line etc that's a conversation that you need to have with them just make sure you bring examples you can also do a consultation with them um, a lot of companies offer free consultations which is always a great option but for me I knew that I just wanted to follow my natural lip line so I went in and said hey I don't want them to look like this I want them to look more like this and I want them to follow my natural lip line Bam. so that would be the whole during process um, now not the whole during process but that would be 
the more beginning during process now once they actually start injecting you will feel it a little bit in your cupid's bow and the corners just because those areas tend to struggle with getting numb so when you feel that sensitivity don't think that something's wrong it's normal you're not gonna not feel anything you're gonna feel it it's gonna hurt a bit but I promise it's worth it. You're not gonna cry. It's just gonna be like a, uh, kind of feels like a bee sting in certain parts, but again, nothing you can't handle. And girl, the lips, they're worth it. So they're probably gonna about do, again, each nurse has their different techniques, but the one that I go to, she does probably about, I would say 20 to 40 little injections all throughout the lips. Uh, so it's, you just feel it pull in, pull out, pull in, pull out, pull in, pull out. Again, you don't really feel it. You just feel your lips kind of tugging, going in, tugging, pulling in, and sometimes a small little pinch here and there. Now afterwards, they're gonna show you, so suppose you don't want the full syringe at first, they will show you, hey, this is what it looks like so far. Do you want more, do you not? And that's, again, to your discretion. I can't tell you what to do there. Uh, I don't even know what I'm gonna do this time. I know last time I only did 0.75 a syringe. This time I may do a full one. Don't know, we'll see, you'll see. Um, now afterwards they're gonna go over the care with you which is basically don't be active for the next 24 to 48 hours. Now for those who are fitness bunnies, I highly suggest following this rule because the product is still trying to settle in your lips. So suppose you are a runner or something, you go into the gym and running, all that bouncing, that product is gonna be moving and going out of the shape that they provided for you and achieved for you. So don't mess it up, you spent a couple hundred bucks, don't screw it up. Um, now lip injection pricing, it can vary. Um, the place I go to, I pay about $700 for a syringe. That's not even their full package. They have a package that's 850 and the only difference is that they put one form of Botox and they provide you with the Arnica that I bought for like 12 bucks on Amazon. So that's just a little example of how different the prices can be if you order a package versus you tell them, hey, I just want the syringe and that's it. Now afterwards, again, you don't wanna be working out. Don't use a straw probably for the first week, I would say, because again, doing while you're sucking, Ladies, no sucking anything for about a week, okay? Um, <laughs> yes, and uh, again, with kissing too, try to limit that for the first couple of days because the product, like, don't mess it up, okay? It's worth it, don't mess it up. Now, immediately after, you want to start icing. This is just a little example ice pack, but you could also just go ahead and put some ice, wrap it in a paper towel, and then put it there. You wanna do it in about 20 minute increments, and you're just gonna go ahead, place it, do one corner, do another corner. Do not apply too much pressure. Just make sure you gently leave it there and eventually your lips will start feeling like they're frozen and that's good. Um, this again will help with bruising, with the swelling, just like any other injury or something that's different with your body where your body's kind of like, what the fuck? <laughs> um, now about after two days, when I know that the little incision points are healed and the product is pretty, pretty starting to settle, I like buying this Arnica gel. So I, uh, on top of taking this about four days afterwards as well, I like putting this on as well. It's Arnica gel, it's just the same exact product, but this one's topical, so it's not digestive, it's topical. So you're gonna go ahead and put it on. It's completely clear. You guys can even see it's as clear. Oh, ah, can't waste the product. Ah, okay, so it's completely clear and it almost has like a gloss type look on your lips, which I love uh, just because I was a little bit scared to put on different kind of chapsticks, lip glosses, all that kind of stuff because I didn't want it to go into my injection area. With that being said, I would say that that is all about everything that's gonna be covered for the before, during, after. There may have been a few things that I missed and if I forgot, hopefully I will remember in this video later, but I know those are the main points for sure. Um, again, with the Advils, I would maybe try to stay away from that for two days after your injection process as well. Again, just try to play it as safe as possible. If you can go without it, go without it. Um, I've noticed that this works the complete best for me. Everybody's body is different though. Everyone's body is gonna react different but this will definitely help, definitely. So I hope you guys enjoyed that process. Now next you're gonna go ahead and see the lip injection process. I'm gonna be filming what it looks like for a few days after, and then I'm also gonna be at the end of this, you are going to see how to achieve a 
lip filler look without getting lip fillers. Okay, you guys, I am here right now. Uh, I'm waiting to see if I have consent to film the lip injections. So I'll keep you guys updated or you guys will just see if I can. Um, but yeah. So you guys, I can correct myself. It's not Novocaine, it's Lidocaine that they inject. So first they put this red, what is it? Red stuff? It's like a little topical numbing. It's a little topical numbing that they put inside and then they inject you. So this part of my mouth's already numb if you could tell. <laughs> but I just wanted to correct myself. Girl is numb. <laughs> well, I'm trying to smile. So are you feeling anything right now? Uh, no, I just feel like going in and out. I don't feel anything. Like no sharpness, no, right? Nothing at all. I know. We are all done. And then we had a little bit of extra syringe. We did, what is this called again? The marionette lines. Marionette lines. We did like a little bit of that. I was feeling a little faint because I held my breath too long just for right here. So they were really nice and got me some candy. I really appreciated that. And now I'm feeling great. Obviously they're a little bit swollen, but I am in love. They look so pretty. Thank you. <laughs> all right, you guys. So you saw a little bit of behind the scenes. Uh, right now, these are my lips. Obviously, they're a little bit swollen. They're going to start being bruised. But um, I really wanted to make sure I showed you some of the behind the scenes. I went to a beautiful young nurse who I went to last time as well. She's the only woman I trust my, with my lips. Um, her name is Marissa. Uh, but yeah. This is day two. So as I told you guys, the bruising is just going to be a little bit worse today. It always is on day two. But tomorrow it should start working its way up to being fully healed, so that's exciting, but yep, this is what you should expect on day two, just random spots of bruising, and then you're also gonna have like a duck whip for quite a bit too. All right, we are on day three, and this is what they look like. I have a little bit of lipstick on it, um, but yeah, I have a couple still bruises, but overall the swelling size has definitely gone down. Um, still have obviously this little duck look that's gonna be there for quite a bit, but um, I can walk around now and not feel like I just got beat, <laughs> so that's good. Jumping on to show you guys day five of the lips. Just very minimal bruising that is left. Uh, it's probably gonna be cleared up within the next two days, which is about a week, so I'm very excited. I hope you guys are loving this YouTube video so far. I hope it's giving you guys a general idea. And now remember, where I go to, it's a lot more invasive than um, your typical lip injection spot. Because remember, they don't numb you from just cream they know me from the inside they go a lot deeper deeper so it's just different things you have to remember um now i know a ton of people are going to also ask where i went to and i went to california cosmetics uh they have a ton of locations that's where i've gone the past two times or now three times th three times gosh and um i go to nurse marissa i love her all right this is going to be the last day that i show you guys in this is day, today is Monday, so yeah. They look great. I'm very excited. The swelling has definitely gone down. Obviously, I still have some here. That's gonna be the last to go, but I'm very happy with the results. And I wanted to thank you guys all for watching this vlog. I know that it was a lengthy one, but I remember when I was first getting them done, I was so lost didn't know what to expect so i just want to be able to help those who are unsure about it or maybe want to get it but don't know where to go in their local all sorts of things i just hope that this provided value to you guys so anyways i'll catch you guys in the next one i love you and thank you for watching